In these videos, I will take a look at some of the comments that you, the viewer, have shared with me. Some of these comments may be posted on my YouTube channel. Some of them may not be, depending upon their content. I use this as an opportunity to answer questions, address criticisms, and acknowledge criticisms, of course, and direct the conversation, keep it going in the manner of which this YouTube channel is intended, meaning it is a grammar channel. This is a channel to talk about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public by Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. And so that's the main purpose of this channel. So if you see a comment in this comments video that has not been posted on my channel, I'm probably using it as an example as to what not to post in the comments field. This is definitely a learning place, a place for learning where I teach not only the grammar, but also the psychology of the grammar. One other thing, I don't ever take anything personal. It's never personal. Although it may seem like it is at times, it's not, it's not at all. And I highly recommend everyone out there commenting, follow the same protocol. Don't take anything personal that I say. What you put in is what you get out. The energy that you bring here, I will most likely either give back to you, maybe a little bit, or maybe a thousandfold. It just depends upon how you approach me. This is my vessel. There are terms and conditions. If you comply with them, everything's peachy. If you don't, well, you get what you get. You don't throw a fit. Without further ado, let's get to the comments. Hello and welcome back to another edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. And uh, this time I'm going to start out much like last time. And I'm going to take a look at another uh, allegedly quantum grammar website that was sent to me by uh, an individual who asked me if this was one of my students because it was based, they thought it was based out of, the website was based out of New York. I took a look at the website and I remember seeing this website actually a couple years ago. Definitely not my students because there is no correct sentence structure on the website. And I will show you exactly why right now. So here you see the website. You can see what I'm talking about. Adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, babble, need help. And then this is, from what I can guess, is some sort of Latin. And then we have colon, quantum, hyphen, grammar, hyphen, collegium, and then another colon, which is not correct. Because what does this say? This positional lodial, this colon represents position lodial phrase for the. So then this one would have to represent of the. But there's no fact after that one. There's nothing. So what is it? A dangling participle colon? <laughs> this is not correct. Same thing with these. Same uh, format. And then we have particles of negation in the words. Vowel in front of a consonant. Vowel in front of a consonant. Doesn't mean you can hyphenate them as much as you want. You still have a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word. It still falls under that no contract rule. So looking through here, I'm looking for any sign of correct grammar. And I don't see it. Join our 7,452 happy students today. So they have 7,452 happy students. I'm glad that they are happy. So let's look at a little further. Click on this and see where that takes me. Colon, what is quantum grammar? So we have, yeah, what is that? That's adverb, adjective, pronoun is what that is. Did you ever notice that we do not follow the rules of grammar that we were taught in school when we speak and write? Uh, that's not true. Uh, I do follow, you know, when I write plain English, I do follow the rules of grammar that I was taught in school and that I learned in college, so I'm not sure what they mean by that. Uh... Looks like they offer some instruction here. And again, we have some inconsistent capitalization here. Uh, violations of rule one rule equal here with the hyphens and the compound facts and then the dangling participle colons at the end of each 
uh, word there. And then we have the particle of negation, the ing there. Uh, learn at your own pace. <laughs> so we have adjective, pronoun, adverb, dangling, participle, verb. Very nice. Very nice. So it says here, I guess this is the founder of the Collegium, P.E.R. Christian Brendes, whoever that is. But here's something interesting that I'd like to share with you. You click on that, but then you look at this one. You see the same picture here, and it says Dr. John Smith. So what is going on here? What is really going on here? Why are they writing in some form of Latin with little bits of adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun sprinkled in here? Are these even real people? I don't know. I guess you'd have to contact them to find out. Looks like a big joke to me, though, quite honestly. Well, I hope you enjoyed that audit of that website. If anybody else has other, any other websites to send me, to have me look at, um, I'd be happy to do so and make a video about it and explain what's what I see when I look at it through the lens of correct sentence structure. So on to the comments. This first comment comes from someone named TallGrow47, and they say, why don't you just go to his website and take a look for yourself? Um, well, actually, I, I have. Um, if you would take the time to do a little minuscule bit of research, uh, you will see that I've done a few videos regarding this individual. I have done an audit on his website. There is no correct sentence structure knowledge on the website or teaching. Uh, it's just basically adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, much like the one you just saw, except there's a lot more adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun on the website. And also, it, it would seem that you must be new not only to this channel, but also to quantum grammar. I highly recommend you learn quantum grammar, get a rudimentary closure on it, and you will probably get a different viewpoint on that individual. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Strawberry Milk, and they say anarchy, LOL, IDK. And that is a comment on the video, the short video that I made where I talk about authoritarianism and versus autonomy and uh, how one would navigate with correct sentence structure being an author, an authority of their own construct, their own biosphere, rather than an authoritarian follower. I know this thought makes a lot of people uncomfortable because they're not used to being in charge of themselves. They're used to having someone else in charge or a nanny state or a government or whatever it is but it's definitely not anarchy strawberry milk this is definitely not anarchy it's just autonomy it is just autonomy big difference next comment comes from john roberts and they say i like the stories i still need to improve a lot and i feel like it helps i'm guilty of liking the stories over the grammar lol appreciate you thanks for sharing well, John Roberts, thanks for being honest and thanks for your candor. I appreciate that. A lot of people wouldn't just come out and say that like you just said it. And uh, I appreciate your viewership. If you're interested in things similar to that, you can check out the For the Quantum Grammar Shoe podcast. There are act like old, old episodes of it on Anchor and Spotify and SoundCloud. If you want to search those out, you may find some other stories uh, similar to that uh, that you may enjoy. But if you ever get serious about learning the grammar, you know where to hit me up. The email address at the bottom of your screen. Apply for a correct grammar workshop. Thanks for the comment. Next comment is on the same video, and it comes from someone named Blue Knup. And they say, okay, boomer. <laughs> Had to share that one little bit of comedic relief. Next comment comes from member ENOM and they say, love the whiteboard being back. Getting the visual like this is good in my opinion. It seems like the microphone might be able to hear a more indoor voice too, but I could be wrong. And yes, Ian, you are wrong. Based upon 
the other videos that I've done, probably a good 35 to 40 percent of the videos on this channel were shot using the whiteboard, using this phone. Uh, the microphone, unless you're right up close to it, you have to use an outdoor voice. You have to project like a vocalist projects uh, using the diaphragm in order to speak. Unlike what I'm doing right now where I'm just speaking with my indoor voice, as you say. So, no, it's not going to work. At any rate, commenting is good for the algorithm, so I'm happy to show support. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comment and your membership. I appreciate it. Next comment comes from Alim Tanta, and they say, It would be nice if you would do more of these videos. Very educative. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you for your viewership. And if you'd like to view more educative videos, there are at least 499 other ones on this channel that you can watch to cultivate your correct sentence structure knowledge. Thank you for the comment. Next comment comes from Jason XR4, also a member. Thank you for your membership. And they say, I really liked the loud, upbeat style of this video. You make it short and simple enough for me to write those examples out myself and actually think it through forwards and backwards. Thanks for this valuable teaching. You're very welcome, Jason. And yes, I will be doing more dry erase board videos. I've gotten a great reaction to it. Uh, all positive comments. So I'll definitely bring it back when I can and hopefully sometime in the future get some sort of boom mic or, or uh, mic I can put on my shirt, Bluetooth or whatever, so that I don't have to yell. But it's also good to keep uh, in practice with that too. Next comment comes from Jacob Davis and they say, how can I get the paper? And that comment was on my correct sentence structure mini class of the live life claim how do I create a correct live life claim and so in that context they ask how can I get the paper well if you watch the video in its entirety Jacob I spell it out for you the first step is to learn the grammar you can do that by studying this YouTube channel with 500 videos or so or or and you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a workshop. And then you can get closure on the grammar. Then you can create your own paper. And that's how you can get the paper. Next comment comes from the same video from someone named Dylan Doesn't Know. I have a feeling that that YouTube handle, Dylan Doesn't Know, is going to prove to be prophetic. It's that simple, right? After heavily speed through words to not make you understand because it wasn't understandable. LMAO. Well, speak for yourself, Dylan, because you are the first person to say that. I'd have to guess that you are at best a beginner level with correct sentence structure. And at worst, you probably don't know crap about it. Live life claim doesn't work in court unless you auth your cert file UCC1 etc okay let me stop you right there what he means by author cert goes to another comment that I did publish on my channel where he talks about authenticating his birth certificate and then filing UCC1 what he's talking about is using fiction against fiction or fiction with fiction working with the fiction using fiction that has nothing to do with a live life claim that's what leads me to think that Dylan doesn't know what a live life claim is. And Dylan doesn't know correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Also, authentication comes from authority, which comes from knowledge. Authority means you are the author. You are the author of a contract. You authenticate it. Because you're the author, you're the authority. Did you author your birth certificate? But wait a minute, it's not your birth certificate. Because you didn't create it, you didn't compose it, it's all in a box. You didn't autograph it, you didn't thumbprint it. Well, maybe you put your footprint on it, but someone did that for you. Uh, in other words, the way I look at it, the birth certificate has nothing to do with me. 
I had nothing to do with it. It's a contract made by other people. It's a bill of the lading, fiction bill of the lading at that, that has nothing to do with me. So you can file all the UCCs you want. You're still in fiction. Dylan doesn't know. And Dylan doesn't know. <laughs> if you answer and mess up words in court, well, here's the thing. If you go into their court, yeah, certainly. If you're walking into a, a foreign vessel and dry dock adverb verb adjective pronoun court, you are subordinating yourself to them. Well, then, yeah, there are no geometric level playing fields in there unless you authorize it through your document contract postal vessel court venue. But you would know that if you knew even a little bit about correct sentence structure, which you're more than welcome to reach out to me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a workshop. Or even if you, Dylan, doesn't know, want to ask me a question, I'd be more than happy to give you all the closure you want in 10 to 15 minutes. My gift to you. All you have to do is step up and email me. You won't. Next comment comes from Jeff Baird, and they say, For the cultivation and knowledge of the closier, I think they mean closure, with a U rather than an E, is with the cultivation of the four corners rule. Now, right there's... Uh, one of the first major errors, four quarters rule is not hyphenated. Therefore, it throws the whole sentence into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. And then we have with the symbols by and then colon Jeffrey hyphen Andrew. Where's the lodial? There is no lodial between by and Jeffrey. But they put a colon there. So here's the way to fix and correct the sentence, Jeff. Four corners rule, hyphenated. And then when it comes with the symbols by, then put the... Take the colon out in front of Jeffrey, and then it will say by the Jeffrey hyphen Andrew colon Baird, and then underline Jeffrey hyphen Andrew colon Baird, so that that will be taken as a whole. So it's five six seven five six seven two, five six seven five six seven five six seven five six seven. Simple, easy fix. But let's go a little deeper into this, and let's read it backwards and see if it makes sense. See if the facts maintain the same value forwards as they do backwards. After the correction. So we have for the Jeffrey hyphen Andrew colon Baird of the symbols. So the cause is Jeffrey hyphen and Andrew. And what's the cause concerned with? Symbols. Is with the four corners rule of the cultivation. So the four corners rule is possessing the symbols. What's the four corners rule concerned with? Cultivation. So we're cultivating the four corners rule. Is that what we're cultivating? With the closure. Closure is possessing cultivation. And what's the authority of the closure? Cultivation and knowledge. So not only is knowledge a concern and a possessive, but it's also a cause. So that's very interesting, and it's a bit muddy. Um, it sounds as though Jeff is wanting to know more about the Four Corners Rule. But I can't be sure because it's very unclear what he's saying here. So, for example, to correct it and to make it into asking that, if that is indeed what he's asking, which I don't know because it's not a question, it's a statement, first of all. And second of all, you know, the sentence structure is a little muddy reading it backwards. You could say something like, for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the quest, with the cultivation of the knowledge, with the matter of the four corners rule, with the query by the claimant, period. And there you go. Quick fix. The final comment also comes from Jeff Baird. And he says, I wasn't interested at all about quantum grammar until David mentioned 15 U.S.C. 78 FF fictitious conveyance of grammar. Anyone in jointer with the legal, fictitious, fraudulent document, author, mail delivery, process server, is guilty of Title 15, Section 78 FF, 20 years in jail with a $25 million criminal fine. Well, Jeff, I would ask you to provide at least one example of correct sentence structure putting someone in jail for 20 years and paying a $25 million fine. Show me some proof, please. In my opinion, this law makes quantum grammar very powerful. I would have to say that that is not 
how correct sentence structure works. The fiction law does not make correct sentence structure powerful. Correct sentence structure is powerful because it's completely different than the fiction, has nothing to do with fiction codes or regulations. Colin David Eiffelwin Colin Miller took those codes and statutes or whatever he chose to use and he translated them into his version of quantum grammar and then used them. But they have nothing to do with the fiction. I hope that makes sense. I sent taxes 18 pages of my mortgage contract and the bank backed off and started negotiating a 2% modification and forgiveness of a portion of the loan. Well, that's awesome. I'm a big fan of whatever works. I'm glad that worked for you. Um, as I've stated before, you know, I did similar things when I didn't have closure on the grammar and I had success with it, even though I didn't have closure on syntaxing or anything like that. And based upon the audit that I did on your correct sentence structure in the last comment, I would say that you're not quite there yet, Jeff, but if you, you'd like to polish it off, you can contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and we can talk about setting up a workshop for you because it sounds like you already have performances in the bank. Sounds like you pretty much know what you're doing as far as postal mechanics and banking mechanics and things like that. Just sounds like you uh, need to complete that and get complete closure 100%. Just think of how powerful it would be then. Thanks for the comment and for the story. Well, that about wraps it up for this edition of For the Closure and Clarity of the Viewer's Comments. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you have any websites to send me, feel free to do it at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. Or if you want to learn the grammar, same address. Go ahead and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consult. And also check out the memberships I offer. Click by clicking the join button. There are two tiers. Uh, one of those tiers, the second tier, has exclusive content. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.